Swindon is a multicultural town, has a population of 230,000, and I think about a hundred languages are spoken across the borough. Pediatric therapy produces reports for parents, and the challenge was that we were overspending our translation budget, and that was still only providing the legal minimum. In 2021, we translated around 400 documents. These were manually sent off for translation, translated and then returned, costing on average £159.81 and taking up to 19 days. We asked the emerging tech team for the impossible uh, and they were able to deliver it. The impossible was to create a solution for them that would help translate content faster, cheaper, easier. We undertook a market assessment and looked at all the providers in the market to understand what was out there and then worked with our community of bilingual speakers and they helped us choose a solution based on quality. What we did next was write a whole bunch of code, um, sit in the shoes of paediatric therapy and develop something that used that really high quality service in a way um, that would protect child information safely, that was really resilient for the team, really accessible, fast, low cost. When Swindon showed us what they built, it became immediately apparent that this was game changing for uh, organisations like Swindon. But in fact, not just for Swindon, for local authorities and councils and municipalities around the world. We helped them make the solution more generic and also built in security and user management and we went live with the system within a few weeks. It was really simple. It took about 15 minutes to learn how to use it. Go to the website, you click on new translation, you click on choose file, you find your file, and then you scroll down to here and you pick whichever languages you want to translate into, and then you press submit. 15 minutes later, your translation's ready. After 12 months of implementing it, we haven't had a single clarification question related to the translation content. We were spending sort of £64,000 a year on translation costs. We're now spending £27. We were spending within that about £160 a document, and now it's down to seven pence. And on 16 days to get that content out to the people who really need it, that takes 14 minutes. The council didn't have to invest any capital up front in this solution, just the time of our amazing emerging tech team. And it pays for itself over and over again. The ROI is somewhere around 6.3 million percent for this project. I mean, it's a ridiculous ROI. <laughs> when I first started the emerging technology team a few years ago, one of the conversations I had with Phil was around the principle of open sourcing the work that we do. Local government is not in competition with each other. We need to support each other. Um, we all encounter the same problems and issues. We all provide the same services. This solution generically can work in, in organisations all around the world, both in councils and municipalities, but also we're seeing applications in hospitals, in central government, uh, and in commercial organizations. So local authorities come to us for a number of reasons. CityTrax is a deployment uh, partner, but we also support the solution for periods of time. Councils will come to us and they might have the resource to be able to do it themselves, but sometimes they are, it's time constraints, so they come to us to do it on their behalf. We've had a good response to translate from a number of UK councils at the moment. We're actually receiving interest from a lot of European councils as well. But the councils that we're working with at the moment, so from uh, the city councils, uh, they're Edinburgh, we're working with Southampton, we're also working with Newport, and then we also work with the local district councils as well. With regards to a project timeline, if you take an organisation where there's 40 or 50 users involved, we can probably cover that off within about two weeks. We created a serverless solution with this particular solution. What that enables us to do is have really low cost. But cloud for me also is about resilience. It's about less maintenance and, and ongoing support as well as reduced cost. But beyond all of those things, it gives me the opportunity to spin things up really quickly. When we have an idea within literally an hour, a couple of hours, depending on what we're thinking about, the cloud gives me the power to experiment, um, to explore. This project has had a massive impact in terms of how we can leverage digital transformation to solve problems in the council. So this has showcased how we can work innovatively, how we can work with those communities of residents, how we can work with suppliers to bring in new technology to the council and has really set the benchmark in terms of project delivery and performance. It's delivering big financial savings and it is also creating better, more efficient public services.